Actually, we have a problem because uh, you see that a uh, few of the coaching staff, first Nenad is not coming back because he has family issue. Then uh, Almeida, uh, myself, we had COVID. Uh, Gigi had COVID. Uh, Ryan had COVID when we were away. So we all came actually a little bit late. Uh, then Rommel is late. Some technical issues and a um, new striker also is uh, late. So we are all a little bit late in preparation for this season. Mm, but we always sort this out, I think, during the... We had some issue with training ground also. So I believe this all will be sorted out. You know that people now expecting, you know, we won Malaysia Cup, now we'll win every game. It's not like that. Look, we are still a club with very low budget. Still, we cannot fight uh, JDT, Selangor, Tarangano. Uh, now new are uh, Sabah, Melaka, uh, did I forget somebody? This is all teams that have huge budget and we cannot fight with them financially. So of course that we are trying to, to uh, go with our plan that we have, that with a small budget we can still produce result. Um, we are somehow a hardworking team and what you can expect that we can challenge top teams, which we showed last year, and, and we will create lots of surprises. But then, like last year versus UITM teams, where we are favorites, probably we will struggle a little bit. So we will be one team, I believe, again, somewhere in the middle. Uh, of course, we will try to win every game, but we will be a team in the middle and we can surprise everybody. I think that we will be more dangerous in the Cups. If you ask me, actually, feeling in the dressing room is somehow that guys are more focused on that because we have lots of guys that never play FC Cup or FC Champions League. And I have feeling that all boys more talking about this than about local league, which doesn't mean that we will be focused only on that. But I think that they will be more uh, more focused in this and you can expect surprise there. Um, target is always to go through the group stage when you play this competition. We have tough group. Uh, it will be only three teams because Myanmar pull out, Myanmar clubs. But uh, PSA Makassar is a good team. Uh, Tampines is playing every year also in this competition. They, they are more experienced than us. This is their advantage. But uh, I believe we can fight with both of them. And if we can go through the group stage, then you never know. No cut face. You see what's happened in, in Piala Malaysia last year. Uh, as I said before, we don't have big budget to sign top players, you know. So we signing young players, which we believe that can develop. Um, Nabil, Azrigani, and uh, Nikumar were working with me in under-19 national team, so I know them from there. They will come. They didn't play too much in their team, but I believe they have potential, so they will try. Um, also, we have some of our young boys from last year, Shakirin. Uh, Anwar Ibrahim and I believe that they bringing, uh, especially on training, they're working hard and on training this competition for all positions are, are bigger than last year. So I believe that this can push all players to their maximum. Look for me, all are locals, all have Malaysian passports, so I don't see the difference. Um, I, I don't think that will affect. This one you need to ask Dr. Hamidin. Actually, yesterday he criticized. I just hope he will not get warning letter, <laughs> because when I said something similar two years ago, I got warning letter. So I just hope that Dato Hamidin will not get warning letter. But this, what you're talking now, is more. Uh, you, this will come and talk about your development in Malaysia, and then I think that Dato Hamidin is better person to answer this. If they choose him, this will be good for him but i think that is too early he only finished b license so some i think that somebody more experienced need to be there but this is my opinion